Nicobe, if, if there was a 12 team playoff in place right now, you guys would be playing at least one more game, perhaps two more games. I wonder how you feel about that and how your, how your body would feel about that at this point. I mean, if that what it takes, you know, uh, we come in at the beginning of the season with one central goal, one central goal, and that's to win a national championship. So that what it takes to get here uh, to win it, then uh, I'm all for it. Great, thank you. And our next question is from Jeff Schultz. Go ahead, Jeff. Nicole, a lot of people are, have been trying to break down the difference in you guys in the last two games. And, I, I, you know, there seems to be this narrative. There is a narrative that you guys were just in a different place mentally uh, against Michigan than maybe against Alabama. How much of that do you think that is true? And how much, because physically it would seem like you guys are sort of the same teams or at, at equal levels at least, how much is the mental approach um, going to make a difference this game? You know, the mental approach uh, makes a big difference. Uh, just from the whole um, the whole thing of it being a national championship. I mean, it's a national championship. You need uh, you should you should be prepared mentally. You should be prepared to give you your best on the field. You should expect your opponent to also be prepared to give it their best on the field. So uh, the mental and um, the mental and physical preparation for it, yeah, I feel like it should be a second to none. So for the first 12 games of the season, you guys were phenomenal defensively, statistically. How much do you guys have to prove to cement your place in history as one of the best defensive teams at Georgia against Alabama in the second shot against them? Uh, as far as proving, I don't feel like uh, we're going in with that mindset that we got to prove anything. Uh, we're just going in with the same mindset that we always go in, you know, and that's to be elite, you know, and have complete dominance. And, and it's one main goal for this, uh, for this last game, and that's to win. So no matter how it happens, how ugly, how pretty it is, uh, it's just one one main goal is just to win this game. And our next question is from Mark Weiser. Mark, go ahead with your question. Hey, Nakobe. Uh, Jamari was on here earlier saying that, that you guys can't run away from the truth about the history of success Alabama's had against Georgia. You, you didn't have any history with Michigan. You do with Alabama. Is that in the back of your mind, uh, you know, for this game? Is it motivation? I mean, a motivation factor, of course. You know, uh, as many times i played them, um, that's as far back as I'm thinking, though. Uh, just as many times I played, I can't can't speak too much on the past. I, I don't like to dwell on the past at all. You know, just just the present me uh, being here. You know, I didn't play them back then, uh, back in the day. So right now, I'm just focusing on winning this game. That's the only thing that's uh, on my mind and on my teammates' mind also. Yeah, kind of on that note, Nicole, you talk about how many times you guys have played Alabama. I mean, it's his third really significant game against these guys in, in the last two years. Would you call Alabama like, uh, you know, Georgia's biggest rival? Is it like the biggest rival for you? Uh, you know, I mean, it's a rivalry, of course, you know, because, uh, you know, everybody hypes it up. Uh, our coach, uh, one's coach and underneath the other coach. So, yeah, everybody hypes it up. Of course, it's a big rival, you know, and it's an SEC game. But as far as this game, it's the national championship. You know, it's a national championship that uh, I feel like everybody should be prepared to play at their best level, at their highest clip. And, um, and like I said before, you know, the only thing that we focus on is winning. No matter how we get it done, we just got to get it done. And our next question is from Palmer Toms. Go ahead, Palmer. Uh, this is Connor. Oh, you could have. Yeah, sorry about that. Um, why do you think the first time you guys played, Bryce Young had so much success against your defense? You know, well, uh, they did a lot of things good. They was able to execute in uh, places that we weren't. He was able to extend plays. You know, we had we had zero sacks that game, which was uh, very uncharacteristic of us. So they was able to um, execute at a high level than we were that day. And our next question is from Georgia Chambers. Go ahead, Georgia. Hey, Nakobe. Um, when Coach Smart refused the Gatorade bath, what tone did this set 
for the team and practice and preparation going into this week, this rematch against Alabama? Oh, you know, uh, you know, I feel like Coach Mark's you know, mindset is kind of reciprocated in a lot of the older guys as far as, you know, we won the game last week, but, you know, it means nothing. We don't get the job done. And, you know, that's exactly how I feel also. You know, it, it's – it was cool that we was able to um, we was able to win the Orange Bowl, but you know it was it was still closer to um, playing in this big one. You know, last, uh, last week and um, last week and the week before that, we just emphasized it being you know one game season against Michigan. You know, one game season because you uh, you lose, you go home. You win, you get more time together. And now you know it's it's what it is. It's one game season, and we we all looking to win. Uh, Basically, it comes to our goals that we set back uh, in January. So, and our next question will come from Justin Felder. Go ahead, Justin, with your question. What's up, Nicobe? Uh, looking back at your recruiting class and guys like Nolan and Trayvon, what do you remember about the first time you talked to those guys about how good your group can be? I mean, was it at a camp or an All-Star game or just over DMs or whatever? What do you remember about that conversation and 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 had it talking with those guys those days? Well, you know, I didn't uh as far as as far as recruiting, I didn't um I wasn't real you know, involved pre pre-college, you know, with with other um recruits. Just kind of like I knew guys, I didn't really speak to them much. But after we got on campus, the, actually the guys you said, uh, Nolan, Trayvon, and Trey, was our roommates. So I do remember having them talks uh, in the living room, talking about man, how good we can be. We just got to keep working to get better every day. You know, coming in, knowing that it, it's hard, coming in and uh, all getting back to the room at the same time and just being, you know, tired as all get out. Um, but just knowing we got to stay the course, continue to work and get better. And our next question will come from Anthony Dasher. Go ahead, Anthony, with your question. Yeah, Nicobe, what uh, lesson did you take away from the first meeting with Alabama that would both, be most applicable to the game on Monday night? Uh, everything, basically. You know, we uh, we looking at uh, every little thing from, from uh, the scheme that we use, the scheme that they use, to how we can possibly um, – you know, take advantage of or some things that we did. You know how we can uh, play better, finish better, and and uh, from the from the back end to the uh, to the front seven. So we we looked at every little thing of how we can get better. You know, um, not just not just from that game, but from the uh, games throughout the season where we feel like they might uh, attack us in, and um, basically what other teams have had. Um, Success in going throughout the season, so we you know we looked at every little thing. You know, we trying to leave uh, every song a uh, turn. So, and our next question is from Kevin Brockway. Go ahead, Kevin, with your question. Yeah, I didn't know uh, if you had a Kirby Smart story. Um, what he's like as a motivator, <laughs> and uh, you know uh, how he's you know kind of mentored you all these years as a as a coach. You know, he can get you going um, if you ask me. Um, a lot of guys at this point, you know, a lot of guys, if you if you just kind of seen them, you wouldn't run them all the time in practice. You'll think that when he when he's coaching and he he get all he get all riled up, you'll think he's kind of like he kind of tripping a little bit. But you know, he coming from a. I feel like every time you know, I don't feel like he's bad at all. I feel like he coming from a, a great place. You know, he wants you to he wants you to be great, and he want to be great. And he won't, and the only thing he care about is winning. And I feel like that's the same for me, you know. Um, if we can, it, it, I don't think he care about to win this game. So it, whatever we got to do to win this game, coach, I'm gonna do it for you. And that's kind of how that's kind of been the mindset, you know, just trusting the coach, just trusting the game plan, and just going out there and playing like we know how we can play and just be elite. And our next question is from Mike Griffith. Go ahead, Mike. Uh, hey, Nicobe, for all the, the film study uh, that you guys have done, how much is there to be said for actually playing against Bryce Young in terms of his quickness, agility? Is it kind of a deal where now once you've seen it, you have a better idea of, of how quick and elusive he is? And is he uh, the most elusive guy in the pocket you faced, would you say, a quarterback? 
Um, I mean, yeah, we we've been we've been facing pretty elusive guys. I feel like he's uh one of the the best ones as far as uh sitting in their pocket and staying calm and you know being able to extend plays and make plays. Um, just you know his ability to do that. Um, also just just makes it a look just tougher for the front seven to get their rest. So, so we we kind of um, been working on that and basically trying to. Trying, trying to make it a different outcome than last time, but we had no sex, you know, very uncharacteristic of us. And our next question will be from Alan Cole. Alan, go ahead with your question. Uh, hey, uh, hey, Nicole, you mentioned preparation earlier, earlier in this, and I was wondering how is preparing for a team you've already seen this year different than maybe a normal week of game prep, like in the regular season for a team you know you're only going to see once. Is there anything different that goes into a rematch? Um, not it's not too much different. Just um, we able to watch the game that we played before. You know, uh, we we able to see like what what their game plan was against us, and you know, what our game plan was against us, and how they may adjust, and you know, how we can adjust. So um, that's probably the only biggest thing. You know, the the work is there. You know, um, that's the only thing we've been focusing on work. Uh, working, getting better um, from a mental, from a mental, physical, you know, spiritual standpoint. I feel like this team have done nothing but work hard to get better uh, day in and day out, and I, I feel like they'll be reciprocating on the field. We've got time for two more questions for Nakobe. Our next question will be from Zach Klein. Go ahead, Zach, with your question. Hey, Nakobe, um, with the senior class, uh, what's the DNA of them? What do they mean to you? And knowing that if they win this game, not only do they walk out as champions, but as the most decorated senior class in the history of Georgia football in terms of victories? Yeah, they mean a lot to me. You know, th those guys, the hard work they put in, you know, the everything from the leadership ability. Yeah, they've been here as long as I've been here, a long girl, of course. But, um, you know, they, they just exemplify uh, Georgia football and everything it stands on, you know. So to, uh, to be able to um, to finish this, this one out uh, with this group of guys, you know, I wouldn't want it to be with uh, any other group. So, you know, I love them boys, and uh, that's, who, that's who we'll be playing for. Well, we'll be playing for our brothers alongside uh, everybody. So for the seniors, definitely. And our last question will come from Joe Will. Go ahead, Joe, with your question. Nicobe, how do you balance being a 4.0 student and an All-American player at the same time? <laughs> um, well, um, it's, yeah, it's not it, – it's hard. I mean, I'm not going to just try to shoot court. It's like a lot of long nights, a lot of, um, a lot of times where, you know, I don't get that much sleep, but, you know, you had to try to you gotta uh, try to find your balance. Um, there's a lot of things you first get to college that they they say you can that you they say you can do in the recruiting thing because they want to get you of course. And then it's like you get here, it's like it's way harder than they will probably made it appear. But you know uh, that's college. You know that's life. That's growing up. That's maturing. And um, I feel like uh, the the things that I tackled in college um, from a uh, from a time management standpoint and just a, you know, real, real, real world standpoint, you know, uh, leaving home and everything has prepared me um, on, on and off the field, you know, greatly, you know, have, has matured me to the, uh, the young man I am today. 